What's up guys, welcome back. So today's a little something different, coming at you from a different location. Uh, this is at Project Lawn for this year. The lawn that I grew up cutting, this is the place I, I cut my teeth, if you will. Uh, so let's check it out. So here's the front yard. This is on quite a slope actually i'll show you that in a second but this right here was all oak trees and it went up to right up in there so they've cut it back and it's kind of overgrown right now with a bunch of other stuff but when my mom gets in there and works on it a little bit it looks fantastic goes right here over to the side yard and when I was growing up, there was no fence here either. So in the wintertime, we would start up there. Because like I said, this is on a quite an incline. We'd start up there with our sleds. Comes right down here. And then go straight down. And then curve around down there. And there's a creek. And so first one to reach the creek, one. Have sled races. So flower bed overrun with stuff. Over there too. Little patch here. Now you're right there, that's a dogwood. And right in front of that dogwood is where I had my basketball goal as a kid. That tree was tiny. This was all just mulch. And then here's the backyard. The backyard's about 2,500 square feet. So, like I said, it's just nobody's done anything. Mom and dad, they've done their own lawn care for the longest time because they enjoy it too but they're just getting older and they're not physically able to do it anymore you know i mean i'm in my 40s and i hurt so i can only imagine how difficult things can be for them but right here where you see all these weeds and then right up there that's where our horseshoe pit used to be i was upset when they took it out they gave it to me but i don't really have a good spot to put it in my yard yet so, but as you can see, it's got weeds. Look at that big guy. Goodness gracious. Some thistle. It's got some weeds, but nothing we can't take care of. Um, but we're in, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, it needs a feeding for sure. But we're going to take care of that today too. Give it a cut. Clean her up. Give it some food and uh take it from there so here we go i will say it's kind of a different experience for me being able to film in a pretty quiet neighborhood you know the only thing you can hear is birds instead of traffic it's nice and uh i am using their lawnmower so i'm going to change the blade on it uh put some gas in it should be good to go
So here's the finished result on the front yard. So we're starting off. Next to nothing right here. All weeds up this whole side. Bermuda invading up there. All weeds right here in front of this bed. Out into here. Slowly making its way through the yard. And of course, there's that coming out of that flower bed. Now, let's go cut the back. And here is the finished product on the backyard. Excuse their mess underneath the deck. But I tell you what, backyard looks pretty good. A little thin down there. Some weeds right in here. Pretty much along the borders. Like right where I'm standing. But overall, the backyard looks pretty good. Now growing up... There's a huge, and I mean huge, oak tree right here, right smack dab in the middle of the yard. And it would be bigger than that some bitch right there. And I remember when I was a little kid, we like I said, we didn't have the fence. And when we used to come sledding, when I was talking earlier, we'd sled from down the side of the house right there, come right down here, and then kind of whoop, right down there. And there's the creek bed. See that rock? So as soon as you made it to that creek bed, that was the winner. Yeah, it used to be a big oak tree right here in the middle. And we used to have horseshoe pits up there. And when I also when I was a kid, the flat area like right there, we had a above ground pool. That shed was not there. So Alright, well that's about gonna wrap this one up. I don't have my drill and my parents can't find the battery to their drill for me to mix the prodiamine so i'm just going to actually wait today's supposed to get up to 90 degrees which is kind of crazy for march anyway um but tomorrow and tuesday are supposed to be 20 degrees cooler so which would be perfect for me to put down some selective herbicide as well as the pre-emergent herbicide with the fertilizer so it's going to be a three-way application i'm going to fertilize it prevent crabgrass and kill the weeds that are in this thing. So uh, I'll be filming that coming up this week. So look for that video out the following weekend, hopefully. Uh, I appreciate you watching. I know everybody's stuck inside right now. Crazy times we're going through with the uh, COVID-19. But I do appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, looking forward to this project, man. It's uh, had a lot of fun doing this today. Um, I enjoy cutting grass anyway, but this, you know, literally brought me back to my roots. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, all I can tell you is to get off your ass, take care of your grass, and I will see you next time. Peace.